Welcome back to Grim Workshop. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lock Picker Rate card. So this is the latest card in the Seer series. So that is Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape. So this, of course, would work great as a standalone card, but you can join this with the other cards in the Seer system and you're going to have a great pocket-sized urban survival kit. So like all of the Grim cards, this is stainless steel and it's sized to fit in a credit card slot of your wallet and you can slide this in a personal survival tent. This white backer is removable so you can just stick this to something and it's going to be there all the time. So all the tools come out and the first time you take a tool out there's a small little metal tab here and you can just twist through that tab. Now all the tools are going to be usable but they're reusable. You can attach it to the card using the tool retention system. So this is non-magnetic, it's non-adhesive. You just give it a press and it's back on the card till you need it. The lock pick rake card is pretty similar to its sister card, the lock pick hook card. So this is another card in the Sear series. And with the hook card, you're addressing each pin of a lock individually under tension. And you're gonna push it till it hits the shear line and then you're gonna be able to get into a lock. So the hooks are gonna get you into almost every lock, but it's a slower process. So when you're raking a lock, you're giving up the, the fine detail of setting each pin individually. You are just scrubbing the lock, or you're moving the tool in and out at different angles, different speeds. And as these uh, different waves and peaks bump into the pins, you're going to catch the shear line and you're going to be able to access the lock. So these rakes don't work 100% on all locks, but the locks they do work on, it is by far the fastest. So if I am trying to get into a lock for the first time, I usually go with a rake first. And that is why there's so many different variations on the same rakes is because different rakes are going to hit those pins at different times. One rake will open a lock when another rake just won't get you in. Tension wrench is going to be required to use any of these tools to get through any locks. You're going to need a tension wrench. So this style here, this is a bottom of the keyway. This is pretty standard. This one here, you see I've got a, a step here. So this is going to be most useful using this step to go into the top of a keyway. Now you've also got a little different uh, width there. So you're able to use it on the bottom of the keyway as well. So it's kind of a combination. But... When you see a step like that, traditionally that's gonna be used along the top of a keyway. So here's the standard tension wrench. And you see this is gonna slip in. And that's about it. That's about all the tension you wanna put on it. And you've still got room to get in there with your rakes and address the pins. So this is the top of the keyway wrench. And that is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to go in and it kind of stops before you get to your pins and then you've got full access to rake the bottom. So on both tension wrenches, this isn't just a handle, we've actually got a rake incorporated in here. So this would be a five wave rake. So here's the other style, and you see this is a little more random. This is a city rake. So I really like a city rake. This one opens a lot of locks for you. Now when you look at the picks here, we have full size picks that have a handle on them, a paddle handle, and then we've got kind of smaller hooks embedded in the card. So on this single wave, you can kind of see the paddle handle here, and that's plenty of handle to work with. So we have a single, we've got a double wave, we've got a triple wave, and we have a four wave, and all of those have identical handles. So this is really more of a diamond than a wave, and I have a single, a double, and a triple exactly like this, and these are a lot smaller, a lot smaller handle. So these are very similar to the full size rakes that you've got with a single, a double, and a triple, but not really when you look at them. Similar in concept, but the spacing is different, so you can see why the traditional triple wave may not work, but this shallower one will. So there's not a lot of handle there, and this is not going to be the easiest rake to use, but I would probably attach a piece of cord to this lanyard and it's still gonna function the same, it's just gonna be a little more difficult to manipulate. Now the handy thing about this is you can actually take this off the card and you can put this in something like a concealment patch. 
So you can have a grim morale patch with a lock pick or a shim or a few key items concealed in here and nobody's going to know the difference. So these are a great tool to add and it's a great skill set to have as well. And if you've never done this before, picking up one of these clear locks is definitely going to be your best bet. And these clear locks are not, they're not exactly the same as picking an actual lock, but it's a great way to learn. And you can progress from this to some of the more common locks that are not a whole lot harder than this. 